Hello everybody, it's just one month that I did my last sum up about the news of Clap, the Clever Audio plugin, and it seems so much news already popped up again that I need to do another video. So this seems to become a kind of regular video show I'm doing now about Clap. November was a crazy month for Clap, so many news, and let's start out with the most interesting one in the beginning. Yui and Bitwig got nominated for Clap as a production essentials for the next NAM Tech Awards, which will be somewhere middle of next year. And the voting for the NAM members will start soon in December. And we keep our fingers crossed that Yui and Bitwig will win this award. Also in the news, Tone2 did a little bit of a comparison chart about the different formats. So you can see the advantages of the different formats. It does not cover everything. So especially Clap has more features which are not covered here. But nevertheless, it gives you a good idea what's going on in the different formats. So check this out. And it seems that Clap already forced Steinberg to have a kind of reaction to what Clap is doing. So people were asking for VST to have a C interface so you can develop with C for years and years. And now they came up with a C interface for VST3 recently and <laughs> they announced it also in KVR. And if you know KVR, the response is not on the positive side, to put it mildly. <laughs> so check out these links as well if you want to have some kind of fun. By the way, all the links will be down in the comments so you don't have to type it in here from the video. Just check out the comment of this video and you will find all the links in there. Next one. So I regularly mention also the GlabDB tech database, which contains most or hopefully all news, all the developers, all the software you can get, which already supports. And it seems since the last month, since October, we have quite an increase of developers, six more developers. So this means mainly companies as well, many more software titles and also more free software titles. And this brings me to all the news and the biggest news this month definitely is Kogos Reaper in version 6.71 supports Clap. Yay! And this was on the horizon for quite some time. So if you follow the beta versions, it was there for quite a time. But Kogos doesn't want us to talk about it if it's not in the final state. And then now it's final and we can have a look at it. Switching over to Reaper, you see already the next news. You see it running here, Clap with Clap I. And what is also cool, if you add a new plugin, in, you have now all these options to filter the different formats. So what you could do before was already that you can totally remove the formats you are not interested in. So this will clean up your left column here quite a lot. But what you can also now do is you can say what is your favorite plugin format and mine is clearly Clap. So you can say my first priority for plugins is Clap and my second priority is VST3 and maybe you need more, but I don't think that there will be so many different versions of your software. So for example, if UE comes up with a Diva version, it will only show the Diva version in the Clap format, but not in the VST3 or VST2. So this cleans up your plugin list quite a bit and makes it easier to find the things you want to have. Clap works like this. It has a basic core, which you need to implement in your host as well. And then there are different extensions and you can choose which one of these you like to support in your host and you don't have to support all of them. So the info currently is it supports its basic subset. So you can run Clap plugins, but it does not support all extensions available. And especially currently the polyphonic modulation or the voice stacking is not there because simply Reaper does not have such a feature at all. So you currently can only do the normal automation, but you cannot do this modulation things, which is currently still one thing for the Bitwig Studio software. But it also supports already the threading paradigm. So this should give you a more stable system and better performance if you use a lot of plugins and use them now in the Clap version. But I guess this will also spark new ideas how to support these things in Reaper. And I'm sure they will also follow up 
in the not too far future. And what I already showed here, but still an Alfim UE is now also available as a beta. So there are updates for Ace Diva as well as Hive. There is a new beta out, so still not the final versions, but nevertheless, for me, they run very, very stable. And I switched over to just using the clap only versions of these plugins. And for me, they are running totally fine. But now also, but Silly is available. And finally, to hear some audio, let's open up here the but Silla and you see it's running in the clap and let's hear it yeah there's coming some some cool noises out of it and you can do crazy stuff so next one it seems there's also a third big news vcv rack which everybody loves for tinkering with modular systems without having to spend tons of amount of your currency of money on modular euro crack is now available as a clap version so you can run it in your clap supporting host as well and even better cardinal which is a totally open source version of vcv rack so the difference of cardinal is that it has a limited amount of plugins which nevertheless are tons of them we will have a look at that in a second and you cannot buy new ones which is the case with vcv rack so vcv rack has also a shop where you can buy additional plugins which is not the case in cardinal nevertheless this keeps you going it's a very powerful thing so let's have a look at that one cardinal comes with lots of different presets already and here starting from very simple policing things to really crazy stuff like you know it here from modular we need to start playback for that so your usual blubbity bloop and random noises can also be done with that and if you look at that so that's the free uh, cardinal version there are tons and tons of plugins to try out and i think this will take quite some days till you want to buy the VCV rack version to get more plugins. So, and Distro, which is uh, the developer of Cardinal, he has also released many, many more Clap plugins, so 16 more. So, also check them out on the ClapDB tag. You find the link or directly go to the Distro page. And more news, especially now for Linux users. If you are a Linux user, you definitely know Yarbridge, which is now available in version 5. And Yarbridge does the following it allows you to run your Windows plugins on a Linux system. And so far, it supports. VST2 and VST3 and now it can also run your clap plugins or your Windows only clap plugins can also be wrapped and run on Linux which is horrible because every developer should support Linux as well for clap which is very easy to do but nevertheless this is your solution to run these on Linux as well. Moving over to development info, so Bitwig cranked up the Clap API version to 112, which they use in the system, which I showed in the last video, is not much of a difference. But now already 113 just got released three days ago, which is also some minor stuff. So CMake got some improvements so they can build it easier and some slight error fixing. So nothing big to look into, but nevertheless, if you develop, you should up update to the latest release. I already mentioned now distro twice and I didn't know there's also a distro plugin framework. So if you use a development framework for C++, you can develop or generate for several different plugin formats. Here it's LUTs by DSSI, LV2, VST2, 3 and now also CLAP is supported. Definitely worth checking out. I just noticed this is October. I forgot to update that. Oh, here it's also October. This needs to be November as well. Nevertheless, that's it for November. So many news. We have now Reaper. We have many, many new plugins. Also VCV Rack. And if I miss something, just tell me down in the comments. What do you think about Clap? Will you now use it? Tell me also in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. And until next time, make some funky music with your Clap plugins.